Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The PLA Navy or PLAN is now the world's largest navy with massive fleet of 70 plus submarines. PLAN remains the main security threat for India in Indian Ocean region. Pakistan has also been swiftly upgrading its submarine fleet with the help of China and Turkey. Being the prominent member of Quad and the net security provider in Indian Ocean, Indian Navy needs strong sea denial capability. And this is where anti-submarine warfare becomes a priority area for capability enhancement in coming decades. Indian Navy is rightly and quietly putting its step forward in this direction. It is operating a fleet of 12 PHI Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft. The delivery of 24 mh 60 helicopters has also commenced, which is considered as one of the most advanced submarine hunter helicopters. While these are Indian Navy's anti-submarine assets in air, Navy has also ordered for anti-submarine corvettes or anti-submarine warfare vessels. In December 2013, Defense Equation Council has approved a purchase of 16 shallow water anti-submarine vessels at a cost of Rs 13,440 crores, which is close to 1.9 billion US dollar. These vessels will replace Abhay class corvette currently in service, which entered into service with Navy in 1989. CSL and GRSE had signed the contract for the construction supply of these anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft in April 2019. Each of them will be constructing eight of these vessels. At present, CSL is constructing one and GRSE is constructing four of them. Now, as per latest update, on 16th December, the first anti submarine warfare shallow water craft will be launched by GRSE. The anti submarine warfare shallow water craft is equipped with sophisticated sonar equipment, including a hull mounted sonar and towed low frequency variable depth sonar for detecting and intercepting hostile submarines. These vessels are not only capable of detecting submarines, but can also detect mines laid by submarines and midget submarines. In addition, it has capability to interdict and destroy subsurface targets in coastal waters. These ships can also perform search and rescue operations during both day and night in coastal areas and defend intruding aircraft and lay mines on the seabed. Each vessel has a displacement of around 750 tons, length of 77.6 meter and width of 10.5 meter. The vessel will have a maximum speed of 25 knots and a range of 1800 nautical miles at 14 knot speed. The vessel will be armed with one RBO 6000 anti-submarine rocket launcher six lightweight anti-submarine warfare torpedo and anti-submarine mines launched from mine laying rails. It also featured a 30 mm naval gun and two 12.7 mm M2 stabilized remote control gun. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.